to meet the requirements of USDA and for them to check the boxes could approach 50% of the $500,000 grant. Wow. Okay, but it's within it's within the budgets that were approved and within the agreement with Kennedy Jenks. It's not a matter of, oh, Kennedy Jenks is going to come back for another $100,000 worth of work. Um, that's not possible. This uh, is something that has spanned a long period of time. And I'm, you know, by throwing out a 50% number, I don't want anybody to dwell on it because just like our cost per gallon, I don't have that dialed in. I can just tell you that for the last nine months, it has been paperwork only, you know, when it relates to the wells uh, and getting USDA on board. And these are things that all of the other entities, the, the State Water Board, Department of Water Resources, the Emergency Fund, Department of Water Resources, the Bond Law Fund, they reviewed these documentation as they were prepared and and signed off as we went along because they participated in these weekly calls for nine months with the governor's office. Okay, so there was a disconnect with USDA for whatever reason and they did get, they got an appropriation for a, a drinking water emergency fund and that's what they were using for this. What was interesting about that is their, although it was a drinking water emergency fund, it didn't shortcut anything like the environmental review or the publication, public notification process, um, or the, the <coughs> plan review process. So if, if, if we were having to meet the same things for that, I, that I've had to meet for USDA projects where there were five million dollar um, project that had been engineered three years in advance, it just was really money that we had to invest to get existing documentation packaged for them to, to accept it. And we actually, as of, um, I'm saying today, because it was supposed to be yesterday, that we have the final prevailing wage certified payroll audit completed by the contractor compliance and monitoring firm that's on the, that's on the list here, uh, that we paid $10,000 to. Now, that is, um, that's a requirement to, to do those payroll audits and all that, so we couldn't avoid that. It is paid by the grant, but USDA required all of those payroll audits to be done and submitted as part of this package. They could turn right around and, and look at it and within a couple days say, you've met it, here's your agreement, submit a request. Or they could say, we got to wait until the federal budget cycle in October. I don't. I have absolutely no idea, um, and and if, have have not had this experience with USDA before. But again, I don't think they did many of these types of construction projects within that, other than maybe buying water from another source or something. It was really a, a small emergency. A chunk of the money from them was to pay for all this documentation. Yeah, right. It is. So, yeah. So it's, it's really costing time, and we don't get our money back for a long time, but we're confident. We're right. not paying out of pocket for report after report after report. It's just time, time consuming. And the, uh, so, so let, me, let me get back to the logistics of the well so you can kind of get an idea of where we are in the construction. Uh, the construction is done. The components of of the well have been installed, they've been inspected, they've been accepted. Um, the the uh, contractor that did the underground work on well number two, Ranchito number two, um, used a meter that was uh, specified and then changed afterwards, and so that meter has to be replaced. Now they've ordered the wrong meter twice, um, Anyway, so that meter is the is really the only thing that remains to be done to make the final to call the project final. However, the meter, the vault that was installed on on well number two to make sure that everything was below ground uh, for the most part um, is flooding, and we don't want it to cause problems with the meter, which it will because the, the meter has electronics. So 
We also are getting a proposal to have a sump pump, the electrical installed, and a sump pump installed that will keep the water evacuated from that. It's a really a bummer, but so those are the kind of things that, as a project strings on, those things come up. We couldn't have done anything about that, but so, um, and, and it seems to take a long time now that the project's gone, the contractors are gone and moved on to other things to get a proposal back, review the proposal, negotiate over it, and get it done. When we're in the height of construction, it was pretty easy. Um, but, so that, that's all we're lacking really to be able to uh, finalize the project that doesn't hold up our USDA request. It is holding up our ability to be able to get the 10% withholding that the Department of Water Resources has on the 200,000. So they've got 20,000 sitting back that as soon as we submit the final report saying we're absolutely done, they'll, they'll confirm it and send it to us. Um, but that's really, it. so construction-wise, there hasn't been a lot of time or effort. Call, called the contractors, you know, reviewing proposals, a little bit of time. The time has been getting some of our contractors to respond to contractor compliance and monitoring um, and get certified payroll reports done that, that, that are correct. You know, um, it's not that they don't know how to do them or didn't do it right. It, it is just we have to we have to do it in a certain way that meets the state's requirements and and then USDA will accept it and so uh, um, <coughs> we're that, fa we're facing these challenges yeah. as we had to I'll say subcontract out ourselves versus <coughs> a contractor having to do it all for me to see because otherwise we'd be holding the contractor's payment and right. the contractor would yeah. be all over exactly. this yeah. right. um, there are the, the remaining. Reimbursement requests are the twenty thousand for the um, what's called the Department of Water Resources. It's listed as DERP, I believe it is. Um, that was the two hundred thousand dollar emergency money. So that is the final report, and then we'll receive that twenty thousand um, dollars. We have. Um, I had one report I thought. I uh, we have 80, somewhere in the range of about $85,000 um, that is due from the D, the uh, bond law program. That was a $400,000 grant, um, and that those are uh, expenses that <clears throat> have not yet been billed to them in a reimbursement. We paid these, many of them <coughs> expenses that came in late. We we're waiting to see what the Thank you.